hello guys welcome once again and welcome to my channel i've been creating a video after so long on jasper report so today in this video i'll be showing you how you can send static data or dynamic data from java to jasper report so let's get started with the video agar aapne mere channel ko subscribe nahi kiya hai to channel ko kare subscribe aur sath hi sath dabaye bell ka icon jisse jab bhi main naya video dalu aapko notification milti rahe So guys, just let me show you. I'm been working on a project which is in Hindi language. So I just wanted to show you the builds. I have created three builds which are of same format. The only thing is the header is been changed. So I have created three different different uh, builds. Let me show you. Just this is build number one. This is build number two. Only the thing is this. Uh, name is changing and the rest of the bill is the same so now i have find a trick or i can say it's a feature of jasper report so i what i will do is i will send this uh, this header name from java so i don't have to create this three files it will work with one file only so how will i do that let me show you so firstly you have to go to the bill you have to just select the text whichever text you want right now it is a static text so i will just i will just right click it and i'll just transfer it to transform it to field text field now i will just rename this file i don't want this name Okay guys now what i will do is i will just add a parameter here so you have for adding a parameter you have to just right click and you can see the add parameter option after you add parameter just rename it to whatever you want i am naming it as pillar name and i will just click okay button and once the parameter has been rename what you have to do is you have to just select the the field and you have to go to text field expression and the parameters you can see down there builder name so just click on it and you can see the builder name will be appeared here with the dollar p sign that means stand for parameter so now what i will do is i will just go to the code here and what i will do is i will just get the name from this combo box i have already added this name you can see here these are the names i have added the combo box 17 so what i will do is i will just go down here and as i have shown you in the video already in the previous video how you can uh, call the sql data from on java click so here you have to write para which is already defined here you can see para dot uh you have to just write put here and then parenthesis and inside this you have to define the name whatever name you have used there as parameter and i will just write here j combo box 17 dot yeah, selected item and here i will just convert it to string okay now it won't throw any error so let me just explain you i have already created a validation that if index is equal equal to 0 so a message will be thrown that you have to select a pillar then once the validation is verified and valid and it will go to here and then what here here it will do it will just put the parameter of uh, it will find the builder name parameter and it will insert this text into this builder name and this builder name will be defined here so let me just show you run and show you let me just run and show you the output here so you can see here i just want this to be printed so i want this on nba trader 
I will just click on build uh, so you will able to see the build uh, MBA traders or oh, written over here okay there is some issue let me just check what's the issue now I think it's not been saved so you have to just just press ctrl s the bill is not saved yet that's why it's not coming up I will just close this and you can see here let me show you I'm using the same bill just edit it ok guys so I will just run the file again and I will just go to this and I will just click on here and I will just click on MBA traders and I will just click on bill and it will be generated you can see here MBA traders is coming it's totally coming here so in this way if I want this in from other dealer so what I will do I will just click here and I will just click on so you can see the name has been changed here so in this way you can just update dynamically the data from java to your Jasper report that's all in today's video thanks for watching this video if you like this video don't forget to hit like button and also don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks for watching this video and bye for now